Welcome to another bike check. Today it's my Santa Cruz Mega Tower. There isn't a video of it, but this was my first ever dream build. The frame is made of Santa Cruz's CC carbon and again the size is extra large. The bike is about a year old now and obviously it took some abuse. But luckily I'm always in busy framing my bikes, so the paint takes next to no damage. When I sell the bike I can just rip off the vinyl wrap and the frame looks great again. The bottle holder is the carbon one by tube. The Mega Tower has two options to change the geometry. I got the bottom bracket flip chips in the high position and the chain stays are set to the shorter position. For suspension it's all about rock shocks. The rear shock is a super deluxe air ultimate. Up front I've got a RockShox Zap Ultimate with 170mm of travel. They both just came back from a service and this combination of suspension is just working mint. I'm running quite a medium rebound setup front and rear. Compression is set up pretty firm. Next up, drivetrain. Cassette and chain are SRAM's widely popular XX1 oil slick. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong when it comes to taking care of the cassette, but it's very disappointing that such an expensive cassette loses its coating so quickly. Shifter and Duralia are the latest X01 Eagle. I've got some 170mm GX Eagle aluminum cranks paired with an absolute black oval 32 tooth chainring. And one up components chain guide protects the chainring and keeps the chain in place. Pedals are just some normal Crankbrothers Stem 7s. The dropper post is also made by 1UP and it has 180mm of treble. The lever rolls on the bearing and has a very smooth feeling. Got a specialized power arc saddle with titanium rails and a carbon fiber shell. I'm rolling on DT Swiss EX1700 wheels with the 350 hubs. I've tuned the rear one with a 54 tooth upgrade kit for the ratchet system. Schwalbe rubber takes care of the grip. A Magic Mary and Super Trail casing up front and a Big Betty with Super Gravity casing on the back, both 2.4 inches wide and the soft rubber compound. No inserts, just tubeless with PD valves. Steering is done by my beloved rental Apex stem in 40mm length and the rental fat bar with a rise of 30mm and a width of 780mm. The headset is a Cane Creek Hellbender 70. Grips are ODI Elite Motion. Brakes are SRAM code RSCs with Trickstuff Dechle Ultralight Rotors and Trickstuff Power Pads. Gone for 203mm front and rear for an equal brake feeling. This is my bike check all done. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.